As a longtime Quad Cortex user, I was so excited to finally see that OS 3.0 is finally here and we get to finally try out the plugins coming into the Quad Cortex. We get all the beautiful tones of Pliny X and Gojira X to start out with right into the Quad Cortex. So today's goal is I'm gonna go ahead and update the Quad Cortex, seeing what the process of that is like. And we're gonna try to build a couple of good presets that hopefully you guys can download for free. Okay, and over here I have my Quad Cortex here. I haven't even powered it on yet. Let's see what the process is to try and get this thing updated to the latest OS. Okay, now that we're in, we're gonna go ahead and try and see if the update is available, which it should be. Go to settings. Make sure the internet is connected. It says it's connecting. Okay, I got a semi-weak connection, but that's okay. So now I'm seeing that device options here is glowing up green. We'll go over there. There's a device update ready, whoops. And there it is. New version is available, Core OS 3.0.0. Let's go ahead and download the update. Okay, and the download is commencing. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It took about three minutes to download the update, and now I'm sure this part's gonna take the longest, which is gonna be to install the update into the Quad Cortex. So let's quickly read. It says, update ready. The latest update is ready to install. We recommend you back up your Quad Cortex before installing. During the update, the touch screen and foot switches will be temporarily disabled. Audio will be unavailable. Do not remove the power cable or shut down your Quad Cortex. All right, and let's just go ahead and click the update button and uh, I'll get back to you guys when it's done. All right, and we are back. And the whole thing took about, I would say about, you know, like 12, 13 minutes-ish. And, you know, the screen booted up a couple of times and, you know, I didn't touch it, I just left it be. And here we go, it's saying that the plugin compatibility is added. Now we got side chaining, we got all the good features, blah, blah, blah. And look at that, just like that, as I'm recording on my iPhone here, I got a notification popping up that Neural DSP gave me a free plugin of my choice. So. That's them staying true to their word. That's really cool. I'll probably go redeem that later on when I get this figured out. So yeah, we got all the features here. Now I basically already know what it is. So I'm just gonna go got it. And here we are just to check. So what we can do now is I can go click down from the presets and I can go plug in presets here. Okay, let's hit the refresh button. Okay, and everything just showed up. Let's go to the Pliny. And all the Pliny presets are there. The artist presets are here too. Very cool. And Nero's presets are here too. The only little caveat is that I wish my user presets could have been uh, imported in here, but unfortunately they're not. So we're probably gonna have to create them from scratch, but really not that big of a deal. You know, I can live with it. Go into the Gojira, Gojira's presets, artist presets, everyone there, and your old USB's presets too. Okay, very cool. All right guys, so now we have to bring the recording setup to the computer because we're gonna be using Cortex Control to control the newly updated Quad Cortex. And uh, just as a friendly reminder, uh, you know, when I tried to boot up Cortex Control, it wouldn't go past the loading preset screen because we also had to download the new update for Cortex Control, which actually came out today as well. So just go to the neural website, download it. Uh, I uninstalled the old one and I installed a new one and we're, we're up and running now. So here we go. This is potentially a new layout. It says down here, Cortex Control version 1.1.0. It's a brand new version. So let's uh, start exploring some of the plugins, shall we? So we'll go into the plugins here. Um, and you know, we have all the blocks over here. Finally, we have the Gojira clean amp, the hot amp, the, uh, I'll be honest. I don't know what the RST means, but it is the heavy version of the amp. Uh, we got all the cabs and all the effects and all the good stuff. So, 
Uh, just to mess around with at first, let's go ahead and maybe start with some presets. So I think I'll go to the to the menu over here and let's see what we can do about this. Now we're gonna have to go to directory actually. So for directory, this is the plugin uh, presets right over here. Let's go ahead and refresh if we need to. Okay. And then we could just do the drop down menu over here and we could pick, you know, let's start with the Gojira Jojo Plantier Rhythm 1. And let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Yeah, to me, it sounds just like how it sounds with the plugins, to be honest with you. I'm not really hearing much of a difference. I want to go ahead and maybe start building something new. Uh, I want to do it all in one complete preset, so hopefully you guys can download it once we're done. So first things first, so yeah, I definitely want to start with a gate of some kind. So we'll just start with the regular old uh, default input one gate. Okay. Now, first things first, I definitely am going to want a compressor. And I think out of either the Gojira or the Pliny, the Pliny compressor was actually one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and add that in there first. Okay. Starting with that. Okay, and I know Gojira didn't have a OD pedal. I think it just had the dirt pedal, but I do want to go ahead and add Pliny's um, the drive pedal as well. I'm a big fan. Okay, we'll start with the classic drive all the way down, level all the way up, and we'll adjust the tone as we go. All right, and let's mix and match a little bit here. Let's go to the Gojira, and let's first start by adding the Gojira. You know what, let's start with, actually, let's go with the clean of the Pliny. And here, I'm gonna put this down here for now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a split. Uh, hopefully I can remember how to add a split on this thing. There we go. We'll just start it here just in case we want to add some more pedals and whatnot behind the hemp. We'll do it right there and we'll do it right there. Okay. It's already pretty good sounding clean. Okay. And now let's go ahead and add, let's try Gojira's hot amp next. And we'll go ahead and turn this off for now. Okay, we're definitely gonna need some cabs in a bit. So what I wanna do is let's add the cab. There's some really good cabs in here. Hmm. No, I remember really, really liking Cap 2 of Gojira, so let's go ahead and add that. And then we'll go ahead and send this out to row 3. And then this one's, we'll just do multi-output for now. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, let me try. Whoops, let's go back to plugins. Let's try the cap three of Gojira. Okay. I'm okay with the Dynamic 57. Let's go ahead and add, I've been really into the ribbons lately. Adjust the amp a little bit. That's a good rhythm right there. I have to adjust the gate a bit. Okay, just for now, let me go ahead and add a uh, one of the EQs here. I wonder if they added the EQ of the plugins in here. Probably not. Then again, it really doesn't need it. So, okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and add an EQ. It's a filter, here we go. Oh, we might have gotten a new graphic nine. Let's check that out. For some reason, this overdrive wasn't really uh, vibing well with the amps. So you know what? Let's go ahead and remove it. Let's try one of the the stock overdrives that the quad cortex came with green 808 can never go wrong that sounds pretty good okay i think the gate's set pretty good actually Awesome, that's really good. So you know what? I want to go ahead and save this as a scene two. Um,
Get rid of this. Okay, so these have to be assigned to the scenes. So that'll be on. This could stay on. Compressor could be off. Cab definitely needs to be on. I think cab always needs to be on anyway. EQ always on. We'll keep that on always as well. So that's a good starting point. So let me move this here. Now let's go ahead and rename it. Heavy. And we'll go red. I just can't stop playing, it sounds good. Okay, I know in the end we're definitely going to want to add the reverb and delay. Let's just do that now. There's a new delay, a circular delay. Let me just try it real fast. Whoa. That's a nice sound. Whoa. Okay, I like that. It sounds really good. For now though, we'll play with that later. Let me go ahead and just kind of keep it within the plugins here. And let's add the Pliny delay. Pliny delay, and I love the Pliny reverb as well. So let's just stick. Assign these to scenes, assign this to scenes as well. Because we're going to need them. Go back to gig, gig view. For the heavy, we'll turn these off. Okay, cool. So let's go back and set up a clean here. Assign this to scenes. And that'll be off. Then here. No, I'm going to name it pure clean. And we'll do this pure heavy. Okay, now for this, assign this to scenes as well. This one we can assign to scenes as well, but I want this off. I want this on. Turn these off. Okay. Um, what else do we need? Okay, so what I want to do next, I just figured it out. Give me a second, I just figured it out. So let's bring this over here. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. I think if you hold Alt, yeah, there you go. If you hold Alt and drag it, it'll, it'll copy it over to wherever you want. So now I want clean delay verb here.
And this one, we can do lead delay verb. Okay. And then this one, get out of gig view. We'll turn these on. Then let me mess with this a little bit. I'm okay with ping pong. Not too much of that. I love a good tape mod and tape saturation, so we'll turn those up. Um, this is synced to whatever is on the quad cortex, so we're fine with that. Let me hear how that, how, how, how that sounds. Yeah, that's nice. Go to reverb here, turn down the mix, more decay, less mix, space, can leave that up. Um, yeah, you know, what? I'm gonna cut this off at 200 and then this one can, not too high. Leave the trails on, let's see how that sounds. I think it can use a bit more reverb. Let's put the coils. Sounds pretty good. And then the last thing I want to do, uh, this is the hot. I want to go ahead and add in the the super hot Gojira amp. Add that to scenes. Go to gig view. This it'll be on. Turn this off. Turn these on. I think that's a good lead right there. Get out of here. thing we have to make sure this amp sounds good I don't need as much depth I could use a bit more master bass I usually turn down mids can go up a little bit I think that's good That's a good lead. Okay, let me make sure the volume matches. So this can go just a tad bit more on the louder side. That's supposed to be off. Go here. Okay. Okay. 
You know what? For this one, turn the volume down just a bit. Okay, very cool. Um, and then what I would like is, let's do like a little hybrid. How do you do hybrid? Huh, did they change this? And then you're supposed to do Stomp over scene. There you go. That's the way I want it. So now. So what we'll do is we'll set these to the stomps. That way we can have full control over my effects up here and then the presets. So there you go. Yeah, that sounds freaking killer. So, uh, I like it. This is a very good just baseline uh, preset, which you guys can go ahead and, and fuck with as much as you want. Uh, you know, you can place the cab here. I like the way that the uh, the three amps are set up here. Um, and you know, I really like the way this hybrid mode is where you can turn the uh, the stomps off as much as you want. You can do turn the you know the 808 off, turn the delay and reverb off, and then you have their presets down here, which is really cool. And then yeah, you can just add a lot more. You can add your you know your expression pedals in here. Uh, you can add uh, whatever any kind of modulation of any kind, whatever you want to do right before it hits the cab. But it just it's a pretty good baseline to start with. So let me go ahead and save this preset. And I'll just call it, hmm, we'll just call it Plagira for now. How about that? The Plagira. Save it for guitar. Save. And there it is. We got the Plagira. <laughs> Really quickly before I go, I just want to see how good this new transposer is. And there it is, the transposer. Get some real heavy. Oh, I can already tell it sounds so much better than using the pitch shifter that we all had to use last time where we just had to, you know, click down here and pitch course it down however many semitones we want. Now we can actually use the pitch shifter as kind of like a whammy pedal effect, which is even better. But you could tell there's just, there's no latency, there's not as much latency as before at least, and the quality is just much better. It's 
screw it, you know what? I'll go ahead and leave this in there so you guys can mess with it if you download it. The Plagira. I'll go ahead and upload this to the cloud. So guys, I'll put the link to my uh, Cortex cloud uh, in the description right there. And if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, we'll probably mess with more of the Quad Cortex as we go along in our musical journey. All right, guys. Have a good time. See ya.